If you guys are sick of wasting money on packs, go check out my sponsor. They offer the cheapest and most reliable way to buy coins straight from the source. Use code MAZE at checkout for 15% off your entire order. Welcome back to the channel. You might be wondering why I'm wearing the same sweatshirt. And it's because with this green screen, this janky ass green screen, white is really the only color that looks good. I gotta wear something light and this is like the only thing I brought home. So get over it, dude. I shower. I do. Okay, I promise I shower. So in my last video, I showed you guys just how rewarding solo challenges can be if you do all of them. However, there are a ton, especially if you're starting right now around Christmas time. There are more solos than you can even imagine. And so to do them all takes a very long time. And thankfully for you guys, you got me. And so in this video, I'm going to go over a full guide of how to complete all the solos as quick as humanly possible. I'll show you guys all the strategies I use to complete mine. And hopefully it helps you guys out if you're starting your no money spent team right now. And of course, as always, before we get into the content, we got to go over the best and the worst comment of the day. Starting with the best. The best comment coming from Alu Obayami. I think I said your name right, bro. He said, I'm just impressed with how fast your team grows in a week. I got the game like four weeks ago and I didn't even think about a theme team. I wish I had done that seems to make a lot of sense and you know what I'm happy you said that because that's exactly why I'm doing this series to share my knowledge of Madden Ultimate Team with you guys I follow a lot of people on Twitter I have a lot of friends in the community and so over the years I've gotten a lot of information on how to maximize your ultimate team and so again I hope you guys can follow along with this series learn a lot and improve your team as well and the worst comment of the day was a reply to that comment from Chris Teague who said he started late and all the solos are out he's not a real no money spent player all the good ones start in the beginning of the game and they only play weekend link to upgrade their team I bet you have a lot of friends don't you Chris but in all honesty the only requirement to be considered a real no money spent player is to you guessed it not spend money yeah, so I am a real no money spent player, Chris. I freaking am. But now that that's out of the way, let's get into the video with the very first tip for completing solo challenges faster. And this one might seem a little weird, but it's to play on current gen or old gen, PlayStation 4 instead of next gen PlayStation 5. The reason for that is the game just plays a lot different and the tips I'm about to show you only work on old gen. So if you have current gen, download the old gen version, go play it. I'm pretty sure you get both no matter what. And so we're gonna be going on the PS4 version of Madden 22. And one thing that people might be confused about, especially if you're just getting the game, but your old gen and next gen teams are connected. So whether you pull packs or do solos or play head to head even, your rewards that you get and the team that you build will be crossed over between gens. Now your record and stuff like that in Weekend League doesn't cross over, but your solo completion and your coins and everything like that crosses over, so you don't need to worry about that. Whether you play next gen or old gen, it's gonna cross over. The first tip, and this is actually a glitch in the game, and this is going to be your playbooks. And you don't need to buy these playbooks because we're gonna use this glitch I'm talking about. You go to your settings, you go to game options, and you go to your playbook section right here. Normally it's set to team specific, so this is whatever your favorite team you choose. It gives you that playbook as the default for offense and defense. But we're not gonna do that. Our offensive playbook is actually gonna be an alternate playbook and it's gonna be the run heavy playbook. On defense, we're gonna do the three, four playbook. So those are the two playbooks we're setting as our default. Now this shouldn't actually affect ultimate team, but I'm gonna show you guys a little glitch of how to make it affect ultimate team. So the glitch I'm about to show you guys, I actually discovered on accident and it's because I run the Chicago Bears defense. If you guys have bought my ebook, you might know that. But if you go over to your team and you equip in your uh, strategy, the Chicago Bears defense, in solo challenges, it's glitched and it will make your playbooks be whatever your default playbooks are. So because I'm using Chicago Bears, when I go into solo challenges, it's gonna automatically give me run heavy on offense and three, four on defense, because that's what I chose in my settings. Now, I don't know why this glitches in the game. No other playbook seems to do this, but Chicago Bears defense glitches to your settings playbook. So you don't have to buy them. Now, if you're not running Chicago as it is, you're gonna have to go out and buy Chicago Bears defense to get the other playbooks. It's not really that big of a deal, but because I already run Chicago, that was a bonus. So now when we go into solos, we are gonna have uh, those playbooks that we want. Now, overall, when you're completing solos as fast as possible, the first and most important thing you're gonna wanna do is chew clock, and that's obvious. But you can only chew clock when you're on the offensive side of the ball. And on top of that, a lot of solos, in order to get extra stars, you have requirements like get an interception, get a sack. But a lot of times, those extra requirements that you have are what end up taking the most time. And so right now, I'm going to show you guys a method to get a stop every time in one play. And specifically, it's going to be how to get an interception. You're basically going to bait 
the computer into throwing you an interception and it works every time so we're gonna go into a solo challenge that's a, that's a defensive challenge this one specifically says don't allow a touchdown this drive and to get extra stars don't let them score a field goal don't even let them get 30 yards and so using this method we're basically gonna get an interception on the very first play and uh, it's gonna get us all our stars and we'll be able to move on without having to spend time and so coming out in the solo we're gonna be on defense obviously you're gonna go down to special teams come out in punt block 4-4 even and come out in the play eight up safe man now whatever formation your opponent comes out in they're going to audible every time it's what the computer does automatically once they audible you get on this outside corner on the left come inside the numbers and when the ball is hiked you're gonna swerve in and out and you're gonna get the interception because it's gonna basically bait the computer into throwing it now this doesn't work as well on uh, arcade mode or simulation it works best on competitive so sometimes in the earlier solos if it's on arcade uh, it won't work exactly like that but arcade is even easier to beat because the computer is just an idiot but as you can see it was a one play solo we got five stars out of it and rather than having to sit there and try to get a stop ourselves manually we just basically glitched the computer and you can do this over and over again i'm going to replay it just to show you guys i can do it every time so once again special teams go to punt block four four even go down to eight up safe man whatever they come out in they are going to audible without a doubt wait for the audible then you get on the corner stand inside the numbers swerve in out easy interception and it, it's so consistent and easy and it's really all there is to it you get interceptions on demand you get stops on demand and that way even if you're playing a full game and it's not a defensive solo challenge you can just get that interception every time and then just start running the ball and chewing clock because what ends up taking the longest in these solos is when the computer has the ball they're not chewing clock they're passing they're sweating their ass off and then you're just waiting till you can get the ball back on offense and you can just chew down that clock so that is how you get a stop in one play every time this method also works for solo battles and stuff like that so you can use it really however you want so the next tip i'm going to show you guys is how to get a sack very consistently as you can see on this solo challenge you get a bonus star for getting a sack now sometimes that can end up taking quite a long time because you might complete the, ch the solo challenge but you didn't get the sack so you got to redo it until you get that last star so we're gonna play the solo and i'll show you guys how to consistently get a sack and so coming out in the solo challenge obviously we're on defense again we're gonna come out in nickel two four five double a gap and we're gonna call the play mid blitz now this is in the same playbook I told you guys before. It's all in the same playbook. What you want to do is press, bring everybody down as close to their receiver as humanly possible. And if they run the ball, obviously you can't get a sack on that. But once they pass the ball, the press should take long enough, especially if you shade underneath, that um, you're going to have a sack before they can even really get off of their man. So we're going to bring this guy down so we can get in a press, get on the other guy. And as you can see, we end up getting a sack. Now, this isn't rocket science. It's just literally a cover zero blitz. And because the computer's not that great, we end up getting the sack. And then now he's going to punt it. And we basically won the solo challenge with full stars. Now, like I said, for this one, it's not rocket science. But honestly, playing regular defense, it could seem like forever sometimes without getting a sack because the quarterback will just throw the ball away. So running this specific defense, the blitz comes in fast enough. And with a cover zero man press, the receivers don't get off the ball fast enough for him to even get the pass off. So that is the easiest way to get a sack. Now, that basically takes care of all of defense. You guys can get sacks at will. You can get interceptions at will. The next thing we're talking about is offense. And run heavy is the playbook we're in that I showed you in the beginning. Beginning. this one rush for 40 plus yards this drive i'm going to show you the main run i use so coming out in this solo obviously on the offensive side of the ball and the run we're going to use is out of strong twins over the run specifically is power and this power is to the right but because it's so heavy with our personnel to the right there's only one tight end on the left you can see the defense is favoring that side quite a bit so when we flip it to the left there's gonna be a lot of space and if we just have some decent run stick, now I almost got tackled right there. You can see there's a ton of space and you get huge runs very easily. And so with just one run, we got the solo completed with full stars. Normally with other runs, I feel like the, the defense for the computer plays runs very well this year. And you're not really fast enough to just outrun everybody, which is one of the main reasons I run on current gen is because your user is faster. And so you can see just with that one run, we got it completed with full stars. Now, additionally, this run also isn't just good for completing the rushing solo challenges. Having this type of run scheme in your offense for solos gives you all the control you want. I've shown you guys how to get stops every single time. So once you get those stops, you get the ball, you can easily just run the ball and shoot clock. So what I would do here, if we're playing a full game solo, which again, normally is gonna take a long time, run the ball, get a few yards, you know, go down, chew clock and so because we have this run that is so powerful it basically puts all the power in our hands i can get you know 80 yards if i want or i can get five yards if i want it's really just all up to me and so we're just going to keep running this 
again just run a little slow wait for your blockers go down chew clock and that way you're on offense the entire time you can chew up as much clock as you want and get those solos done even faster. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to pass very easily on the computer. And this one isn't as much of a glitch as it is just a good pass play. And it's the same play or same formation, I should say. And you can call PA vertical shot instead of the run play. And something about this formation, they almost always come out in like a cover zero blitz. And so both your receivers should be open because they're gonna blitz a lot of people. And as you can see, you're just going to have easy passes as much as you want. Now, this is one play we have, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to keep running. You see, they're in a cover zero blitz almost every time. There's usually only maybe one safety, if, if that, and it's just very easy yards every time. Now, that's one method. Now, I'm going to restart and show you the next. So, I'd say this one is probably better, but if you're going for, like, a touchdown, I think... Uh, you can never go wrong with gun bunch tight end, especially if you have like Derrick Henry or some crazy receivers. But if you run bunch tight end, usually the computer just can't keep up. And so we call it, like you just see trial is just so open. And again, on next gen, uh, it doesn't work as well. The computer on next gen plays much better with your team than on old gen, which is why I'm on old gen, because your players just absolutely toast them every time. And so once again, I'll show you just because it is so consistent, PA boot over. Gun bunch tight end, we love it. You're just so much faster than the DBs. It's just money every single time. And so that basically covers like play call and like all the nitty gritty stuff you guys need to know about how to complete these solos as fast as possible. And then the next thing is more like methodology or like offensive philosophy, I guess you'd call it. And I've already talked about that a little bit. And basically you wanna be on offense as much as possible, okay? So if there's no defensive goals and you're like basically just trying to finish the game, get a stop, get on offense and chew clock run the ball and chew clock and if you just do that you're gonna complete these as fast as humanly possible and so i hope all these tips help you guys out and you can better complete your solos in a timely fashion because i know sometimes you get stuck on that one solo that you replayed seven times because you just can't get a pick or you just can't get a sack and so hopefully that doesn't happen to you anymore if this video did help you out please leave a like down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and we'll have some more gameplay coming for you guys very soon now